Hello everybody, and welcome back to yet another Steam and Steel review video. We're back on the Sierra Railroad, and today we're going to be reviewing the brand new J2 class. A mogul. First one in game. And look who has joined us. It's the Freddy Fazbear. He's going to be here to do some er, 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 errs. I don't know, maybe he won't. I don't know. Anyway, here is the J2 class in SR5. And if you're wondering about the red, um... Well, uh, let's just say he's a very splendid engine. Anyway, let's get this engine out onto the line and let's see how well it runs. See, we're just going to move past 97 and we're going to grab it. And yeah, new engine. Actually, put one of my new favorites, actually. It's such a nice locomotive. If you didn't know, which I assume you do know because you're watching a video about Steam and Steel, so you probably know a lot about Steam and Steel, the bogey is actually moves, meaning that it actually has a pivoting bogey, which actually looks really nice on the line. And there is the Freddy Fazbear right as we speak. Such a, such a nice old fellow. Anyway. Uh, first we're going to be testing to see its total speed. I'm gonna go do some deliveries to the... Oh, you know what? Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's go check it out. Alright, we coupled up. Uh, let me see. Uh, no, we're not coupled up. Alright, that's good. Okay, so, sorry about that. I needed to. I was just texting someone. Anyway, let's go forward slowly. Click. There we go. All right, we're gonna be doing some food deliveries actually. Unless, yeah, we're just we'll do, we'll do some deliveries of food to see how this engine handles doing food deliveries. But overall, yeah. Engine is actually fantastic, really fast for the class. It's like, it's a really nice fast engine. Also, really like how it looks. I kind of wish. Well, may actually, I like it being outside, outside cylinder. Well, inside cylinder would have just been, you know, James. Outside cylinder does look make it look pretty cool. It still looks a bit like James. If James was a outside cylinder mogul with outside frames, but you know, I guess it's close enough. Anyway, we're going to first be picking up some cordwood. And then we're going to be doing the rest of the deliveries. Alright, slow into the yard. Also, the brakes are okay on the engine. I wouldn't say they're the greatest thing. They kind of remind me of the uh, G-Class brakes. But, you know, they do their job, I guess. Slow into the yard. Stop. Perfect. Let's load. And there goes the Freddy Fazbear with his weird train of fans. Sorry about that, I don't know. Yeah, sorry about that. Why is that wagon shaking? That's strange. When's my game lying at the same time? That's even more strange. I don't think my computer's doing too well anymore. <laughs> it's just surprising, like, this thing shouldn't run so badly. What happened with it? Anyway, let me load up on more cordwood. We'll head over to the slaughterhouse, sell off we can what we can. I'm trying to make as much money as possible. Oh boy, look who's stolen the cab control. Oh, never mind. Guess he, guess he like, okay, that went back. Alright, blow the whistle. Whistle blown. Throttle open. Also, yeah, you guys probably already know, but pressing zero removes the GOI. Just pretty cool, actually. It makes it makes um they can take screenshots a lot better. I do kind of wish we had an FOV slider. That would be really nice. But you know, we'll eventually get that. Hopefully. 
I don't know how hopefully. The track is set so he won't crack, good he won't. But hey, at least he gets a chase by me. <coughs> Except for the fact he's gonna hit- oh no. <laughs> it's like- I don't know why, but it just looks like a subway car almost, like from Subway Surfers. I don't know, it just reminds me of that. It's kind of funny. Hmm. Sure, if you put like a texture on it, it'd be pretty funny. Hmm, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe have, maybe if you want to do like a subway system in game, you could always have brake vans or new coaches if we ever get new coaches. That'd be a cool idea actually. Hopefully the switch is set for the uh yeah, switch is set. Of course it's probably gonna slam into me. Well at least I hope he doesn't. Alright. Breaks off we'll slowly but surely. Breaks on. There we go. Alright, unloading all this cordwood. Cause believe me, this stuff makes you a lot of cash in this game. How much? Mm, nice lot of food. Nice cattle, nice- ooh, actually, we could probably go- I might do a grease delivery later, just because grease is so sought after for the machine shops. I know there's a few machine shops around here which would desperately need some grease. At least one, I think. Alright, let's unload here. I think we'll head back- well, actually, first we'll pick- I think we'll pick up a good lot of food, then we will head back to the main yard, sell it off, and then grab the tankers, and, you know, get this engine a good old run. Because this engine is worthy of a run. This engine is definitely a good engine. The Leo said he was having so many issues with it. I don't know what issues. This engine runs superbly. Oh, no, he's gonna hit me, isn't he? Speed load! Or not, let's see if we can speed load this. Speed load as fast as possible. I've got to very good at this. Maybe it's time for some new RAM, I don't know, I'll have to look into it. Anyway... Blow the whistle. I hope we just I hope for the Freddy Fazbear gets out of the way. Let's see if he got- oh yeah, he got- Oh dear, that's close. He's gonna hit something or derail. Right Sorry about that again. Again, I'm really sorry about that. I really need to start closing the door again. Yeah. Ever since I swapped over to using the, um, to just recording with only, ever since I swapped over to only recording with the, um, only with Xbox Game Bar, my mic has been very, very, very sensitive. Unless, maybe... That has something to do with it? I don't know. Maybe I'll check later. But yeah, it's getting very sensitive, which is a bit frustrating. Anyway. Yeah. Here, yeah, let me just cut the throttle real quick so we can build up some more steam pressure. Should have enough the coast. I don't know where uh, Weed's crab went. He probably maybe went to collect food. I don't know, but we better be careful of him. 
he might speed down the line like a white knight, like actual lightning flash, because he's white. White vans. Alright, let's see. Slowly coming up the line. <laughs> I could have taken that he derailed. I love it when my. F Never mind! I have stolen his caught train! Oh no! Wait. Wait, where did he get this train from? Oh, he must have sped along. <laughs> no! We're just gonna take his train along with him. Oh, wait, he's actually might derail the train. Eh. Uh... Ah! And that is how you solve pro today's mod. This is, how this is how you solve modern problems, kids. The re-rail tool. With your two eight, with your two six zero oh, mogul. We'll load and load the food. Actually, let's show some coal. One, two, three, four, five. Just get a bit more fuel in there so we can build up a good lot of steam. So we can really show this engine's capabilities. Let's put on the brakes, take off the brakes, put on the brakes, take off the brakes, put on the brakes again. They come to a complete stop. And the engine should start building up pressure now. And all this food will be unloaded and make me some money. Yep, oh, that didn't get unloaded. The game's just lagging. I don't know why the game keeps lagging so much. I wonder if... I may, maybe I need to start taking... Uh, is there a way to... I might have to check to see if there's anything running in the background. Because I'm getting kind of tired of this lag. Unless, of course, Roblox is just lagging in general. Don't think so, but maybe. Well, I'll stick it all into that yard and grab the... Uh, Coffin tankers, and then we will head back out. From NW. Railway. Oh, this isn't the North Rule looking Western. This is the Sierra Railroad. I don't think the 440 is very happy anymore. It keeps trying to escape its shed. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Let me see. Can I just rerail it? It has some power left. Let me see if I can rerail it onto the track. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, you can do it. Keep the throttle open and then try to push it from the back. Oh, well, something tells me this dungeon doesn't want to go up again. Ugh, never mind, I'll just kill the throttle. Let me just shovel some coal on there. I'll take care of this engine later when I eventually need to put the train back. This is frustrating. I'm getting frustrated with this engine now. <laughs> Once we have a good hit, once we do some coal in there, I'll just let the engine build up steam. Because, yeah, this engine... I don't know if the brakes are bad or not, but it just does not want to move properly anyway. Let's get back... Yeah, I don't know what's... I don't know what's going on anymore at this point. I'm kind of wondering if something may be going on in the world that's kind of causing everything to go loopy. Especially DG and H classes, so well, technically C and H classes, because it's, yeah. Alright, full throttle. Let's park these wagons, and then let's grab some coffin tankers.
Because James, the really sp splendid engine, is doing a really good job. Slow down. Bonk. Reverse. Stop. Decouple. And reverse again. And stop. Throttle it, and let's get those tank cars out there. Because grease equals money. And yes, also the line has been getting a few significant upgrades, including new sidings, new switches. Just a lot of extensions to make the line a bit more... Well, maybe less of a functional line, because, you know, it's become less of a more, like... It's become less functionality, more... Less form factor functionality in order of a, um... Cool line that looks cool. That's literally all it is now. Just a line that looks cool. Pretty good for, uh... Besides, with all the money, well... It's, honestly, I think the line is pretty good for just running locomotives in and testing to see how they run on other lines. Such as this. I kind of just use this railway now purely just to test locomotives. And with the amount of money I have, I can easily buy whatever engine I want. Purely just for YouTube videos at this point. There's more of my YouTube line at this point. Maybe creative mode, I don't know. What do you guys think? I normally ask these questions and I never get a reply, so I sometimes wonder why I bothered to ask. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, decouple this. Let's send this back. Send this with the rest of the train. Come on, we're nearly there. Coupled. Perfect. There we go. Let's go. I don't need to refuel reload on coal eventually. Open the throttle, blow the whistle, and head out. Oh boy, I see another one of the Freddy Fazbear's trains. Flip the switch. Oh, never mind, I guess we're going on the siding. Yeah, I guess anything got safer than going on the main line. We'll still get to our destination, just maybe a bit slower. Oh no, don't tell me he's on- no, okay, good, I don't think he's on our line. Cause that would- could be a- that could be a bit of a problem. But yeah, I'd say overall, I absolutely love this locomotive. It's like, probably one of my favorite locomotives in game now, just because it's a mogul. And just cause it looks so nice with the proper pivoting bogey wheel. From pilots? Yeah, it's a pilot. Because the rear would be a pony truck. Right, 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 yeah. And the fact we're gonna be able to blow down the- or not blow down, it's sil drain the cylinders. Cylinder drain cocks. You know. Uh, the thingies that- the, those thingies. I- yeah, it's a called cylinder drain cocks. Alright, we're gonna come to pick up all the grease I can. This is a grease-only train. It'd be oil, but we got no oil in this map for some reason. I still think that Coal Valley should have oil. Alright, brakes, and reload on grease. Grease. Alright. I think we're fully loaded on grease, are we? Yes, we are fully loaded on grease for those. Let's pick up the rest of the grease. Open the throttle and take off. Brakes. Grab the grease and reload. Because grease is a very profitable. Yeah, Alright, let's get going. Shh. 
Shovel all that coal in, get this engine nice and hot. Nice for not a lot of pressure. Let's get going. Keep saying let's get going too much. Eh, I like to go. Continue on this line. Well, actually, no, actually, I probably need to swap over, swap lines, swap over lines, so I can be able to get to the um, other machine works. <laughs> yeah. I should have stayed on the other line. Hey guys, look, it's a Thomas the Tank Engine friends reference. Ha 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 Uh, okay, let's let's rerail this. Let's get this back on the line. Okay, I guess we're gonna go the opposite direction. A good got opportunity to show this engine's speed. All right, coupled up. Rerail some of these guys. I might just leave the ones that are on de dead that are normally normal just on the line. I don't. I don't know. There's probably been an accident where someone crashed into a bunch of box cars or vans. We're coupled couple now and we are couple to here let's go let's actually go people we are so brack I'm just gonna hope he pushes his train out of the way so I can be able to use the line let's of course yeah I'm pretty sure he won't All right, let's connect. Okay, good. We're all connected. All right, he's all connected. No, but <sighs> all right, that's it. Alright, that's it. Alright, that's it. If I've had it with you. Alright, that's it. I'm stealing your boxcars now. Why aren't you moving? There we go, move. That's it, I'm stealing your boxcars now, Freddy Fazbear. These are mine now. Anyway, as I was saying, we're going to be taking these two coffin tankers over around because apparently I don't have any four more coffin tankers because I got stolen. <sighs> Whatever happened to me being able to make a good safe video? Not safe. What happened to me, me, me being able to just make a video in general? All right, let's take what we got and see what we can make.
Now you're gonna be stuck with a bunch of useless grease cars. And I missed this. Uh, no, actually, no, 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 no. There's another. Tr there's another exit I can take. There's another exit. I remember where there is. That switch, why not switch not respond? That's weird. Why did the engine just randomly slow down on that curve? I feel like it should have just hit it at a hard pace. I don't know. Alright. Let's continue. There's a switch there. I don't want. I need to switch it. There you go. I do want to check out this line, though. This is a new line. I've never gone down it. Actually, no, yeah, I never actually built it either. I think it was Aloe who built it? It should get us to the uh, machine shops. Yeah, this yeah, this will get us to the machine shops as long as the yes, this will get us to the machine shops. Here's the machine shops. We we'll probably need more coal. Maybe I'll try to find those tankers later, but nah, at the at this point, we just crap take- Yeah, that's his name, we just crap. He's pretty much made them go poof. In his weird van train. Well, of course, I somehow meet up with him at the machine shops. I don't know how he would be figured that out. Thing, that's gonna be all that grease gone on the drain. Of course, he doesn't seem too serious about the map in general, so, eh, who cares. Here we come into the track station. I don't keep saying track. This is a track, track one. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Alright, hopefully, let's unload it. Demand bonuses. We need. Hmm. Well, I don't have any uh, things I could use to pick up. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's head back to the. Let's head back to the yard and drop these off. Built up a good lot of steam since then. Oh, we're nearly to 230,000. I always find it funny whenever they do an update, my bank account drops significantly, and then I have to just spend a bit of time to grind it back. Unfortunately, this heads straight towards... Okay, there. We'll drop these all off at the yard. Flip the switch. Blow the whistle. And we are good. Is that switch? No, there's another switch up ahead I could take. If not, there, you can always just flip the switch in general. Alright, we'll probably stick it all in that siding there, cause, you know, there's space. It looks like number four, it looks like the 90, 97, well, 97's tender has gotten into worse condition than it was. 
I still don't know why a tender. I feel like these tenders specifically are just really whack in this game. Like, from testing them and just in general. Like, at one point they used to be like 80 tons, which was like extremely bad for like a locomotive that like this. Like, that was a lot of weight to haul just the tender itself. And now it's like, I feel like it just keeps derailing. Alright, forward and drop off. Alright, slow down, perfect. Disconnect, and let's put you back into the sheds after I fix the number 4's tender or numbers 97. I can't tell which one I did at this point. It might be number 5. Although in this game, if, although my world's canon, I consider that number that's, that this number 5 is actually James. I know that's a really weird Thomas head canon, and I'm sure I'm going to be shot for it in the comments, but I like to think that this is so like Soda Railway's number 5, and then there's the actual number 5. Which are conveniently both tender engines, and both big tender engines at that, which... Funny coincidence, am I right? No, it's not fine, I don't know. Alright, we'll put you there. We'll pull your tender out from the, uh... Pit, I guess. So let's see, uh, we'll put you next to number five. And there goes the Freddy Fazbear. Got kicked, I assume, or decided to leave. I uh, probably made a mess, I don't know. I'm sure Delete's gonna eventually find a wagon and then scream about it for the next five minutes about how horrible these people. No, okay, not okay. He wouldn't say that, but he would get pretty mad at them. I'm sure if he hears this, he's gonna get mad at me and be like, I do not say that. I'm like, no, oh, you do say that. He's like, what do you mean, no, uh, I do, I do not say that. I'm like, yeah, you do. You literally yelled about everyone leaving their trash around. Which I can't blame them because I want to have an orderly conducted railway. And uh, people and the people who play who I play with don't seem to think seem to think otherwise. I don't know why. They just I don't know. They don't clean up after themselves, which is a bit frustrating. Like it's not a joke, guys. Like seriously, please clean up after yourselves. All right, we'll put the reverser at zero. And that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry for some of the interruptions and maybe me going off a bit about how no one cleans up the line. Again, thank you all so much. I'll s make see you next time for Steam and Steel 15, which is technically Steam, Steam and Steel Episode 3, or Episode... Yeah, it's Episode 3, Part 2. Because, well, episode, uh, Season 2, Episode 3, because... Yeah, it's technically second season. So, um... Yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.